Hey everybody, Spiritual Key, back another reading, and this is going to be the queen herself, the dumb daughter, Beyonce. <laughs> Girl, happy belated birthday, bitch. Anyways, um, we're going to see Beyonce. Of course, she's a Virgo, the uh, earth sign, like me, but it's like I'm a Capricorn. But yeah, I'm not really sure. Anyways, we're going to see what's going on with Beyonce. Let's see, how is Beyonce feeling? What's going on with Beyonce? How is she feeling? What's going on with Beyonce? How is she feeling? Justice, Four of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Knight of Wands, King of Cups. Okay. I might pull some more. All right. So, Swords represents the air signs and zodiac sign and how we deal with things mentally. And then we have Pentacles representing the earth sign and zodiac sign and how grounded we are. And we have Wands representing the fire sign and zodiac sign and how passionate we are. And then we have cups representing the water signs and the zodiac sign and how we deal with our emotions. Uh, Beyonce, uh, bitch, what, what, what's going on? Beyonce, you okay? Because, uh, what is you hesitant, what's you hesitant about? Okay, so what I'm seeing is like, Is she trying to, it seems like she's trying to figure, now I'm not going to lie, her energy is very protected right now. <laughs> I, I ain't going to lie, her energy is very protected right now. But I ain't trying to get into her, I'm just trying to see what's going on. But it just seems like, she's like, I'm going to let them handle it, then her handling it. But it's, but it's like, Beyonce, you know how somebody is, you know, when somebody's going through something or they're thinking about choices or they're thinking about how they should handle things or uh, they're trying to figure out ways to do certain things. It's like, okay, I'm going to sleep on it to see if I should go this route or if I should take this. Is Beyonce about to get going on tour? Because <laughs> her energy right now, it seems like she's hesitant on how she should handle certain things or how she should go about certain things in a certain way um should she assert herself in a certain way or how she should handle things in a masculine emotional aspect i feel like she's getting ready and she's gearing up to do something but then again i do hear that the industry is tough and sometimes you do have to assert your masculine energy because she's coming off as oh I, everything it's like is she stressed out about something because it seems like she's trying to make it seem like she's calm about certain things but virgo women let me tell you something a stressed out virgo woman <laughs> so, so, mm, it, it's, it's a weird but interesting sight to see because when they get stressed out like that and they get da da da, it's like their brain becomes scrambled and they can they can they can become real rude. Might I say, very much assertive. Well, not some of them come off rude, especially if they're telling you you know to do certain things and you're not getting it done, or if it's taking too long, it's kind of like what the fuck is you doing? Did not tell you do this that third, and people can come off and it can come off as if they're bullying you or as if they're being rude to you. But if I tell you, and then it's kind of like, well, do I go about it this way or do I go about the other way? Because now it seems like, but it's kind of like when you're a boss and you're Beyonce, you have to be. You put on your boss hat. You can't let certain things slide. And Virgo people, let me say, Earth signs, majority of they are just perfectionists. Let me see. Okay, so I have the Star, the Emperor, and the Lovers. And 
Beyonce, are you planning on retiring soon? You know what? This, hold on. Because this is... <laughs> This is, I feel like with this album, she kind of had fun, you know, but it seems like she's being optimistic about certain things and is having fun, but she's not really going with her intuition, her instinct. This just seems like, oh, I'm just doing this just to have fun on a whim. I don't know what Beyonce. It seems like she's letting her guard down. And oh bitch. Hold on. Cause it seems like she, she's letting her guard down about something. I is it she letting her I think she's letting her guard down more when it pertains to music. And instead of her overthinking about a lot of things, she's just having fun. Let me see. What's going on with Beyonce? Shadow, discon disconnect, boredom, solitude, temptation, mental conflict, material harvest, destiny, and crown chakra. Yeah, she might be gearing up to do a tour, but I feel like, because Beyonce gets me, if I'm not working or if I'm not doing certain things, then who am I? Because she has said that she literally, she'll work in like, that's why she'd be going on those boats on the water for vacation or whatever. You see her most of the time she's on boats because she will always work so much that she don't know how to vacation and she has no choice but to vacation when she's like on the boat and cut off from everything, you know? She said that. Cause you know, you know, I love Beyonce. I'm a Beyonce fan girl. Okay, but I feel like when she spends too much time alone, her mind wanders. I don't know if she's in therapy, but I feel like therapy really would help her. But I do feel as though she needs to, um, I keep on hearing something about ancestors. I don't know if she's really, if she's ignoring her ancestors or not, but this will be the perfect time since you are in solitude to reach out and to connect more with your ancestors. Cause you know, one of the curve is Beyonce, she, you know, dibbles and dabs <laughs> and it's divine. Okay. But, um, I feel like when she reconnects with them or when she's able to, you know, reconnect with them, I feel like she'll become more, I don't know. It just seems like, what's going on? I think she's about to go on tour. But I feel like she's waiting for the right time to strike. And I feel like this could be a fair word. I don't know. I think Beyonce will retire soon. Because I feel like Beyonce's about, I feel like she's going to try to build her brand more. I feel like she's trying, I feel like she want. I feel like she's going to take more steps in doing more brand deals. Um, be more into her clothing line, be more into, it could be something dealing with, um, I wouldn't say necessarily makeup, but maybe like cream for the face or beauty tips or something. It just seems like she's more interested in doing brand like that. I feel like she's going to slowly back away from music and make more deals dealing with brands. And I can see her taking like a Jay-Z route, like you, how she brought in Haley and Chloe and she had him under her wing. I feel like she's going to probably 
I wouldn't say her personally sky high talent. I feel like she will be in a room in the chairs once it comes to talent, especially when it comes to dancers. I can see her doing things like that. I can see her building partnerships with people. I feel like she's going back and forth about how she's going to deal with transitioning. But this is something that she wants. This is something that she's destined to do. This is something that she's supposed to. I feel like she's always wanted to do this. I feel like she she loves doing it. She loves to dance. But I feel like that's something that she doesn't want to continue, continuously to only do. Hmm. Okay, bitch. If you want to, you know, escape. <laughs> And do and do what you want to do. It just seems like it's a conflict. Like it's always a good and a bad when it comes to the love that she has for music, because it comes with a lot. Like even people who, even other celebrities that see Beyonce perform and see how she sets up everything, that comes with a lot and it's stressful. And it, this is you can tell that this is something that she really wants. It's what she strives for. She wants to make sure everybody's entertained. She's letting her guards down and is able to actually finally let her hair down which it has to be relaxing for her and I can see if she wants to you know move on a different direction and find her own I mean look at me look at Rihanna I mean they harassed Rihanna but Rihanna bitch you never should have teased us saying that we you coming out with a new album bitch you should have never done that shit ho that see that she did that and I'm still upset about that girl and I thought I was gonna get this reggae and everybody said oh it's gonna be this and you know I love when Rihanna was that accent bitch got me hyped okay but I know one thing about it that Super Bowl uh Ree don't play with me don't you play with, I'm so happy for you your fancy beauty and your clothing line fitness I I'm so happy for you remember Riri Island <laughs> <laughs> bitch girl don't play with me but i'm glad that you know you have that but rihanna at least you could have gave us a last album like a farewell and then you know what girl oh but you know i'm so happy that she's our mom oh she always wanted kids every time i see her with her cousins or nieces and nephews i'm like oh my god Reed, you made a great mother I still low key did want her to have a baby with Chris Brown. <laughs> I, I did. I, I really did. But you know, hey. what's going on, Beyonce, and her love life? Yes, I am. I'm picking. What's going on, with Beyonce, and her love life with Jay Z? What's going on with Beyonce and her love life? Okay, I have give relationship a chance, forgiving and learning is in reverse, chemistry, and then we have worth rating for in reverse, uh, patience and red flags is in reverse, let go and control issues is in reverse, express your love, engagement, and you deserve love. <laughs> it's not funny, but ooh, Beyonce, girl. See, when you forgive somebody, I don't know if she's numb to the fact of forgiving and then learning. It could be. A, it could be something to where it's kind of like you just brush it under the rug and it's just like, okay. It's let me tell you something. Sometimes, let me tell you something. Beyonce, when I say ancestors, please do. And also shadow work. Because, you know, you did have the shadow card pop up. So, baby... Um, let me tell you something. Shadow work is ongoing. There's no such thing as, oh, I completed all my shadow work. No, 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 ma'am. It's ongoing, baby. <laughs> when I tell you that, that's just my opinion. I don't want, you know, people getting the comments, but it's okay. Cause I'll cuss you out in the video later, but I'm just saying 
when <laughs> sometimes when you feel like you've done all the work, you feel like you did all you can do, sometimes it's kind of like, well, it's okay. I forgive. Isn't it? But it's like, are you forgiving or are you suppressing? Because sometimes when you suppress, it comes off as if you have healed and forgave. I feel like family counseling, they just, I don't know if they're still in family counseling or because I know Jay Z's and every said, oh, you know, I wasn't counseling. I did had a therapist. But um, I feel like if they were to go back and have a family one and try to, so that way they can both properly express themselves of what's going on. But it seems like there is a, it's like this control issue going on. It seems like somebody is still stuck in a toxic habit. And sometimes when a person is stuck in that toxic habit or if they change a certain way and then a new habit slowly, a new habit slowly surely creates. I don't know. It just seems like certain things that they didn't really touch on or talk about probably to the therapist. I don't know. But I would say family counseling and then do something really romantic and nice for each other when y'all renew y'all vows. That's just me. And I don't know if one party feels insecure and feels like, oh, well, I don't deserve certain things or I don't deserve certain things that can kind of put a damper on a ship, especially if you feel like you don't deserve things that I'm trying to give you. But girl, you know, I ain't no, I ain't no counselor. Okay, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> and this is all alleged according to Tarot, okay? Just putting that out there. All right, bye.